So today's experiment was to see what people's first impressions of the grid were, were like. Alright, so I need a guinea pig. Volunteer. Anyone on step forward? Okay. Ah, everyone else on my like <laughs> We want to see if people are willing to play the game and, you know, uh, take ownership of it and become uh, contestants and compete. So my name is Victoria and I was out there and I just came in today to play at the grid. It was really interesting because I thought, okay, virtual reality, I'm going to put something on and then maybe I'll be transformed somewhere. How does that feel? Too loose, too tight, too bumpy? That's okay. So when I actually put the glasses on my eyes, I remember feeling, okay, this is a little weird, it's tight, it's bulky, it's on my face, what's going to happen? And then I actually opened my eyes inside the goggles and I was like immediately immersed. I remember a gun like coming at my face and it was just floating. Alright, now I'm gonna see something a little weird. I see a gun coming at my face. Yeah, yeah, make a fist with your dominant hand. So it slides over there and then you grab onto it like that. It was so weird. And you use your trigger finger, mm -hmm. just like in the old west. It's a itchy trigger finger. <laughs> Shoot, like that. It was definitely nerve-wracking at first, but once you get into it, I mean, it just makes you so unbelievably competitive. <laughs> oh, it was so exciting. So, face first in the air, and then we slide this over your head, so you can fit like right at the base of your skull there. How's that feel? Good. I'm Natalie. I am a paralegal. This whole experience with virtual reality is new to me. I think it's good. Should okay. I be able to see out of the bottom a little bit? Uh, yeah, that's all right. Okay. Uh, I heard about it through a friend and thought it might be a fun way to relieve some stress and have a little fun. Today was my first time ever experiencing any kind of virtual reality game. So this is just like a regular gun. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever shot a squirt gun when you were a kid or anything like that. Yes. We want to see if people are willing to play the game and you know uh, and become uh, contestants and compete. Get him. <laughs> Whether or not they would watch this type of new sport on television, or you know what, what we want to see where this is going to go. Is anyone there? Hi. I came to the grid. I didn't have any previous expectations. I didn't know what virtual reality really was about. Um, but as soon as I put the goggles on, I had the most fun I've ever had. For me, I'm a super competitive person. So sizing up my competition, seeing what I had to do. And once you put the goggles on and you get your gun and you're in there and you're going, it's just, it's so much fun. It was a workout. We went into this with one mindset thinking that, oh, we're gonna create the greatest first person shooter. But actually we came out with something that was much more. And people started talking about how much exercise it felt like. It felt like they were burning calories and their quads would ache and stuff like that. That was a good workout. So now it's this kind of amalgam of uh, exercise and, and video game. It definitely was a workout. I'm getting married in August and I might have to do this once a week. You should wear that for your wedding. Okay. Thighs are burning. Get wedding ready. <laughs> First time I put the headpiece on, it was a little disorienting. It was fun though. It was trying to get your, trying to get your grounding and where you were, and you, you felt safe. But it was de definitely a little intimidating once you didn't know really where you were. Yes, the trigger. There you go. Is anyone there? I've been in the game design industry for about 20 years now. Um, so, I've, I've been making shooters for a long time. My first game I worked on at 3DO, it was uh, Army Man 3D, and it was a duck and cover shooting game. So I've got a lot of experience with shooters. Um, and so, in putting this together, uh, we wanted to make sure that we created something that fit the current level of technology. <laughs> I've never experienced being in in anything like that and so 
and you have this whole other world around you, but you know that you're still present in the room. So it's not like you're gonna walk off a cliff, but you still feel like you might do that. <laughs> My name is Tyler. Uh, this is my first time at The Grid. Uh, the Grid was really, really interesting because of the use of space that you're able to implement while you're in there. Uh, once you start figuring out how your moving is going to affect whether other people are able to hit you, if I can just put the three of them against me, then I'm pretty sure I'll still double their kills. Set them in the middle of the floor, wherever you want. Could you eventually figure it out where you could have to reload? Where like if you had something and you had to do it? Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Make so it more difficult, difficult that way? We'll have Versus unlimited. I'd like the unlimited shots, but I think it would be kind of cool. Is there anything holding us back with your There is nothing holding you back. So we can play again? You can play again. <laughs> Adrenaline pumping because you're like, oh my god, it's working. This dumb thing that I created, this stupid idea I had while I was eating nachos at the uh, at the restaurant is actually coming to fruition. Yes! And people are playing it. So that's extremely exciting. This is crazy. That was amazing. And sometimes the things that are unspoken are the most important because that's how you really gain insight onto whether or not the game is intuitive enough. Yeah, go ahead and see if you can hit stuff. People. Can they figure it out without having to be told every single uh, thing every step of the way? I was like, once I start figuring out like how the platforms work, that was fantastic. I'm excited to come back and play again. They made this full virtual reality area so that way people can actually compete like hardcore against one another. And that's what I'm really excited about and that's why I'm going to come back as soon as I can. I loved it. I can't wait to be back again. Yay! Yeah. I'll come back right next week. I just can't wait to bring Rachel down here and just demolish her because I know she's always trying to beat me at things in the office and I just I just can't wait to win. I'm just going to bring her down here and we're just, I'm going to beat her in the game. Not in person. Because <laughs> that's frowned upon. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that when I'm cuter too.